Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. Next time you go on a date, you have to ask the guy this question. So I have a theory that if a man has a really strong reaction to this question, it's a sign that he doesn't like things that he can't control, which can be a red flag because if he's a control freak and likes to control every single thing and doesn't like things that are unpredictable or can be a little bit of like, so the question is really simple, but it has a meaning, I promise. You're gonna ask him how he feels about cats. And you don't even have to tell him like that you have a cat or anything. Just be like, oh, are you more of a dog person or a cat person? Like, how do you feel about cats? Now, if he has like a pretty neutral stance and he's like, oh, I mean, cats are okay. Or obviously if he's like, oh my gosh, I love cats. I have a cat, whatever. He passed the test. But if a guy has a really strong, like disgusting reaction towards cats, and he's like, oh my God, cats are crazy. Like I can't stand them. They're mean. You know, like we've all talked to somebody who has like a really strong negative reaction about cats for whatever reason. And I swear this means that those people or like that person doesn't like things that are unpredictable and that they can't control. Because dogs are pretty easy to train. But cats are a whole other story. Well, this was a complete waste of time. Liking cats or not doesn't equate with being a control freak. You just don't like cats. I know you're some sort of therapy pretender, but no. Just because you had a theory doesn't mean it's the right theory. Maybe in the next video you'd like to share us your theory on people who are allergic to cats. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I think my least favorite question to be asked by a man is how are you still single? I get that some men are saying it as a compliment, but most men are saying it with the implication of like, what's the hidden baggage? Actually, I did once have a man ask me literally verbatim what the baggage I was hiding was. And I wish that they did really want to know because if they wanted to know, I could tell them that a relationship with a man is not the prize. Commitment in general is not the prize. Blah, 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 a relationship with a man is not a prize, but I want one. Why? How does it make sense for you to buy a lottery ticket that you know from the beginning it's not gonna be a winner? Anyway, let's keep to the good part. I want to enjoy my life. And that means a partner that makes it joyful and makes it easy. Easier than it is right now. If you're not making my life easier or happier, if it is harder to communicate or make plans with you than it is a girlfriend, for example, if you are making me feel at all stressed or unsure or confused, if you are not making me feel like the most beautiful human to walk the earth, why would I want that? That's not a prize, it's a liability. Because the price of the bag is going up and I worked really hard to get here. Unlike me who was just sitting around waiting for you to get a bag so I can maybe be a part of your life. Why would I even ever want to deal with someone who's only about herself? Me, me, me. My life, my happiness, my enjoyment, my entitlement. Wait, what? No, not that because that's something that never comes up in a conversation. Do you know what I find hotter than a man with a six pack or a man with a really good haircut? Or a man with shiny toys or like whatever they use to like flex these days it's a man with daddy energy and by daddy energy i mean like a provider like it's a providing energy like a man who's just going to take care of you not necessarily financially but like emotionally and physically and he just shows up he's a man of his word or um he goes and grabs the door for you not because he's trying to impress you but like he literally does that for everybody or he checks on you like did you make it home okay um how are you feeling emotionally like checks in on you um yeah and like I'm at the point now where it doesn't even matter if you're older if you're younger if you have a six-pack if you don't have a six-pack if you have a full hairline or you don't have a full hairline, it's what's your energy. And if you don't have daddy energy, I can't do it. I feel like I've been with too many men with baby energy and it's put me into like a motherly 
place where I almost don't even want to have kids anymore. How is it that I know so many men like the ones you described and yet you haven't even met one? Maybe I've been doing this for too long. Maybe I can't see the good in these TikTok videos because even though everything you've said sounds good enough, I still have a problem with I've dated so many men with baby energy and also with I'm at a point where I'm looking for daddy energy. Maybe you should have looked for that energy from the beginning. You know, when you see a woman out in public and you start thinking things like, wow, that is a goddess among mortals, perhaps proof of the existence of a higher power. I wonder if she's aware that every single person within a five mile radius can see the way she glows. I wonder if she's ever been kissed the way that she should be, or if anyone bothered to make her coffee this morning just the way she likes it. And if not, I absolutely volunteer. But then the words that actually come out of your mouth are something to the effect of, I like your outfit. And then maybe she says something like, I was just about to say the same thing to you. And then you say, thank you and then you never see her again so so moral of the story she wasn't a goddess she was just the average woman i had the crazy eyes to the conversation and that's the reason he never saw her again let me show you what i keep in my purse let me show you what's in my assault pack i already know what y'all were gonna ask this is called the kate spade stacy small satchel I already know you guys are going to ask me, but this is the smaller one of the rucksack. I love her. The color is like the perfect shade of pink. I love it because it's not as heavy. First thing is my little wristlet. I don't know what it's called, but look, it's from Victoria's Secret, Avi. Okay, first thing is a PT belt. It's from the army, Avi. My keys comes with a little chain. I thought I had more stuff on here. I guess it fell off. Rip. I like to keep an extra rhino mount because I lost one the last time we went to the field. Rip. Next, I have the matching wallet. I know, I'm extra. So cute. I have the matching accessories because I'm extra, but it's just so cute. I have a thousand wishes from Bath and Body Works. I have CLP, like you guessed, from the army. Ah. <sighs> Have a little scrunchie. Can't forget the bug spray, okay? Next thing, you guys already know, baby wipes to keep fresh throughout the day, okay? These cute little bolt cutters get me through almost every wire obstacle. Nail glue, another necessity. A VS-17 panel because I really like to be seen. Some dark Hershey kisses that my boyfriend's mom gave me. Super cute snacks that the first sergeant gave me. I keep seeing other women saying, oh, what's our Roman Empire? And there's two. I'm settling the debate. There's two. One is our wedding. We always think about our wedding. We've thought about it since we were little. And two is the other woman. If you have ever been cheated on or ever had to deal with anything like that, you will always think about that other woman and always compare yourself. Even though you don't mean to, you don't want to, but you always will. That is our Roman Empire. Just for more context, if you're not on TikTok, there was a trend where married women decided to ask their husbands how often they think at the Roman Empire. The answers varied from once a month, once a week, once a day, to three, four, five times a day. Leave it to men to think about an ancient culture, what they did, what they've built, what they went through, how they influenced so many other cultures, and leave it to women to think at something just as important as, let's say, lipstick. See, I still got it. I'm still one of the biggest a-holes you ever listened to. No, because I promise you I'm the wrong one to ever play the I'm not going to text first game. I will literally never speak to you again in my entire life. Never. Oh no, whatever will I do? Princess, you don't seem to realize that if I've never texted you first, I never wanted anything to do with you from the beginning. What you've said is pretty much you're gonna try to ghost the one that was already ghosting you. That made sense for you somehow? <laughs> Seriously? People have asked me if my big brother is supportive, that I do. At the end of the day, he's happy that I'm happy, but he benefits too. Uh, my brother is turning 23 next week. I balled out, just a little. On a for real, for real note, he's never really had super nice things. And it is so nice to get to ball out on my family for their birthdays and Christmas. All my homies eat. Not as much as you do in that line of work. What you're trying to do, if I got this right, you're trying to buy their affection and buy their acceptance for the things you do in that line of work.
Right, let me read this one. Now I'm older, I've learned that men love it when they get to play with someone who always swallows and has confidence. Yes, we do. There is not one man on this planet who is single who doesn't like to play with Izzy. I would have a problem with, you know, get to play with if I were you, but <laughs> I can't even pretend I care. If England is six hours ahead of America, why can't they just tell us the future? Aren't they in the future? Isn't that concerning? 65% of college graduate. Now, that's concerning. But anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.